Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another speedboat. It's time for a blue suburban. <laughs> so recently I've gotten into building cute residential lots again. I also enjoyed to build a good mansion and this kind of is a mansion, but I felt like building a dreamy, beautiful family home that is not too big. I built this on a 40 by 30 lot and it's not huge, even though it looks huge as always, but I don't know, this always happens to me. But this was built on a 40 by 30 and after working on the dystopian build, I was kind of totally done. I just wanted to build something that's dreamy and beautiful. I was so done with this whole theme. As I've told you my last speed build, I was kind of overwhelmed that even though I enjoyed it, this wasn't really my style. So I just needed something dreamy and beautiful. So here we are. This is a beautiful family home. And I chose the blue base game wallpaper, which looks like wood. So it's a blue suburban. And I added lots of details. I think the blue doesn't even properly show because of the light and there are just so many details. So it's not really like, oh, that's blue. <laughs> when you take a look at the thumbnail or just at the build in general, the blue doesn't really pop, but I used this really typical wallpaper and a blue suburban as kind of the classic Sims build. And there are many people who build these houses and I feel like I always add too much. I really like to make my houses really dreamy and I love to add lots of details, but I feel like a real suburban home should be a bit more simple, but I just, I just can't help it. I just love to add lots of columns and, and flowers, just all kinds of different things. And I try to be a bit creative when it came to the flowers in front of the windows. You will see this in a couple of minutes. And at first I laid out the whole shape, which I don't do that often. Usually I start to work in a section and then I finish the whole area. Let's say this garage that I'm working on. Usually I would just start to work on this garage and then I would just add more to the house. But in this case, I just kind of built the whole shelf first. And then I, I don't know, just wanted to see if it looks balanced and if it makes sense. And here I figured out a little trick because recently we got this update that allows us to have real free window placement so we can now also stack windows on top of each other and doors as well and for the garage doors i used this cats and dogs door this tiny one that is supposed to be used by cats and dogs <laughs> so i sized it up and i used it as a garage door and i've done this before but the problem is that the background isn't really showing most of the time at least here this was the case for me like i didn't see the wood in the background hard to explain but you just saw this but then i added a doorway and then it it was visible so this was kind of a weird fix <laughs> but it worked so i combined the door and a doorway so i don't know this this update is just amazing <laughs> we have so many possibilities now and I hope you've been doing well and let me know in the comments down below if you've checked out the new pack or not. I know that not a lot of simmers have gotten it seemingly. I don't know, some people seem to love it, others don't really like it. So I'm just curious what you guys think. For me, I've just worked on the dystopian build and I think that's kind of it. Usually when a pack comes out, I try to work on at least one build and sometimes multiple builds, but this is just not my style. This doesn't mean that I don't like this style. When I think of creators like Phantasms, for example, she works on the most amazing fantasy builds, sci-fi builds, and she's already working on some amazing stuff, I'm sure. So this is like... I love this style, but I'm like a mansion builder, which is why I tried to build a mansion using the stuff. So I'm kind of done, but I'm definitely going to use some of the stuff that came with this pack. I also did here in this build a lamp, for example, a coffee table, a floor. So there are some cool things that could be used for everyday builds kind of. But yeah, I'm not the sci-fi type of person, I think. Also, during the weekend, I haven't been doing too well while building this actually because I had an earache and it's gotten so much better now. I'm feeling well again, but I'm still going to get it checked on Monday. I mean, it's the weekend now, so I can't really do that, but I'm going to get it checked on Monday because I think I've never told you guys this, but I'm a little paranoid when it comes to earaches because 
a couple of years ago i think three years ago this was one year before i started youtube i had an ear ache in my left ear but it wasn't bad like not the type of ear ache that is so bad that you just want to rush to your doctor basically but it was just a lingering weird kind of ear ache it went away then it came back but it never fully went away but it also wasn't too bad it was weird and i just brushed it off and ignored it and i shouldn't have done that which is why i'm not going to do that this time around so this all went down over a period of i don't know half a year one year it came and it went away and it wasn't too bad i just ignored it and then at some point it got really bad but the pain was really different so my outer ear started to hurt and it started to hurt behind my ear and it was a really weird feeling and it wouldn't go away and nothing really helped and i finally went to my doctor who gave me some antibiotics and he said okay it should go away shouldn't be too bad but it didn't go away really and it even got much worse and i couldn't handle it and then i wanted to go to bed and before going to bed i went to the bathroom and i looked in the mirror and i noticed that the left side of my face was slightly droopy just ever so slightly you couldn't really notice it at this point but i kind of did and then i showed my boyfriend who took a close look and he was like yeah you're right it's kind of droopy so we went to the er because there are a lot of bad things associated with a droopy face i was really scared they did a cat scan all kinds of different things and it was really bad and even while i was waiting in the er it got much much worse like it was drooping more and more and more and then they made the connection between my ear issues and my face and they figured out that my ear infection had caused my facial nerve to be inflamed which then caused Bell's palsy so half of my face was paralyzed and I had to stay in the hospital and during the first day in hospital it even got worse and at some point the left side of my face was completely paralyzed 100% I couldn't move it which was really bad and they didn't give me much hope they told me that it's probably going to stay it might get a bit better and I don't know I was in shock and I took it too well looking back like it, i was like okay that's fine i don't know it was so weird i felt like i went into some type of mode where i just protected myself because it was too much to handle i can't describe it but it took me a couple of weeks to realize what had really happened and luckily it went away like i went home and i went about my life and it at some point it got better and better and now i'm fully back to normal and you can see it i don't feel it and i notice it only when i want to blow up balloons i notice it ever so slightly on the left side but that's it you can't really tell what happened and yeah this is why i'm a bit paranoid when it comes to ear infections i just wanted to tell you this because i think i've never told you this actually so yeah this was the story of me having bell's palsy which wasn't nice but if this ever happens to you and it's much more common than people think and there are all kinds of different reasons for bell's palsy there's a high chance that it goes away and you just have to i don't know you, you just have to be hopeful i guess and even if it doesn't go away then life still continues there are worse things but i mean i feel you if, if this is currently happening to you or if it happened to you i i know the struggle it's not nice yeah but let's go back to the build. I just want to give you this little insight on my on my life. So I decided to use lots of lavender and lavender is purple, but I wanted to have, I just want to have a bit of purple, just a little purple moment. So this is looking really good in combination with this orange bush that I found in the debug menu and I have no idea if they are new if they've been there all the time or they added in the recent patch i have no idea but they are here they're here to stay they're beautiful i really like them so i added a lot of them i have a lovely contrast between the purple and the blue and the orange because i have all these cool tone colors and then the orange is just popping really really beautiful so while the wallpaper or the wall color on the exterior isn't really that visible even though it's a blue suburban there are lots of other other colors <laughs> there's a lot happening and here i'm working on the flowers in front of the window and for this i used uh, some debug plants like planting pots which can be placed in front of a window and then i used this plant that can be placed on walls so i simply placed it behind 
all my plants and it just looks more colorful and beautiful i think this object came with seasons and what i can recommend if you want to do this i use some shelves and for this i really like to use the get together shelf i used shelves below my planting pots in front of the window this way i was able to hide all the other plants on the inside because some of them have some weird planting pots it doesn't look good and then i also used this plant which is part of seasons as you've just seen so this way I could hide all these things and this looks really good the, so this is what I can recommend sometimes you can be a bit creative with these plants in front of your windows and something that you should keep in mind because I've kind of struggled with this in the past until I realized you always have to go on the correct level when you are adding these plants so if you want to add these plants to the first floor, make sure that you've activated your grid and that you are indeed on the first floor. Because then when you go one floor below, for example, they disappear and they are invisible. If you add them to the floor at the very bottom, for example, they never go away. And this is kind of tricky and confusing, <laughs> but just make sure that you always add them to the correct floor also when you add some shelves and just some other decorative objects if you just want to add different things make sure that they go on the correct floor because in the past i've struggled with this and then i just had to pick each object up and i had to move it to the correct floor which which isn't good it's a lot of work and you don't need that <laughs> so this is what i can recommend always make sure to place it on the correct floor I also used two for this build but only in some areas for example here I'm just changing the rotation of this bench a little bit so it looks as if it properly stands in this driveway. I created the driveway with the train tools of course and on the edges on the left and right for the driveway I used our good old base game debug brick which is technically just a bag of flour and it's famous on this channel because it's like in the beginning I used it in every single build I guess and it's still so amazing for flower beds. I've made a tutorial about this you can find it in the description box I always add my tutorial playlist so you can find it it's called round flower beds I think it's a lovely base game debug object I just love it and you can use it for all kinds of different things and here I used tool to rotate it a bit so it really sits on the slope and it's not like hovering randomly and it was really tedious which is why I didn't include the whole process in this video because it would have taken I don't know way too long because it took way too long in real life and even sped up it would be too much in this video but I think if the result was worth it it looks really good and you can just do some tool magic and I also use tool to rotate the car that I placed in the driveway a little bit and I just used a debug car, a base game debug car and then I just rotated it a bit but other than that there is no true magic going on in this build. It's a pretty basic build and I, I didn't use the tool mod for other stuff really. Just some just some benches and a car and <laughs> that's really it. And here I'm working on the floor plan because now like since I don't know for the last couple of videos I've always included the floor plan because you guys asked for it. So here's the floor plan. It's a really traditional floor plan in many ways. There isn't anything too crazy going on. The only tricky part was the garage because I knew that I would like to turn it into a home gym and just an area for this flower binding table and I wanted to place some planting pots. So this is like a garage that can be used for stuff like this because first of all this is just a perfect place in my opinion. We don't have cars in this game so this is kind of a topic. I don't know some people say we don't need cars. Decorative cars look silly <laughs> so some people love it others don't but I like to build a garage and then I like to turn it into a room just for just for having a place for a home gym and stuff like this as I said because I'm not going to put a flower binding table in, in into the living room for example I could place it in the garden but there wasn't that much space and this way you have a small home gym and if you should download this lot and if you should use it you have a lot of space for different things like if you need a, a space for I don't know you can make some candles I think I even placed the candle making table so I don't have a good example right now but this chemistry lab table if you need some space you have it you could just remove 
the debug card that I placed on the inside as well. You have some extra space. So I think this is good. So you have a really traditional family home here, but at the same time, you have some space for all the other stuff. I used some clutter from get togethers you will see to just make it look more like a proper garage, just some stuff that you just put in your garage and you never take a look at it again. Technically you could just throw it out, but you just, it's just in your garage <laughs> on your, or on your attic, this kind of stuff, you know? So I just wanted to make it look like a proper kind of messy garage. You will see what I'm talking about. And here the circular rock is part of Journey to Batu. And I know, I know, not everyone likes this pack, <laughs> but I've fallen in love with a couple of objects. So this round rock is just amazing and I really like to use it for kitchens from now on. And it actually inspired me to create a completely circular island counter and I just combined four pieces. I have this wonderful circle and at first I wanted to have a green kitchen. I really like this color, but then I decided to change the color to white because as soon as I started to work on the dining room and the living room I just used lots of whites and it looked really monochrome and like I don't know just really beautiful and <laughs> like a modern farmhouse in a way and then I just wanted to have this type this kind of aesthetic which is why I'm also going to change the floor here I'm already starting to think about it because I didn't really like the color and then I just changed it it's really monochrome it's really simple the colors are really soft there are some slight pops of colors because I placed some flowers and that's it it's really dreamy and beautiful because it's already really dreamy from the outside so I definitely wanted this to be just as dreamy on the inside. Also, I don't know if you've seen it yet, but there is a new spark challenge and this time I might enter because I like the whole theme. It's about having a cute house for elderly sims, including a room for a hobby. And I think this is where you have to be really creative but I think it's not only about having a good looking build but I think a huge part of it is also the idea for the hobby room so I think this could be interesting and to be honest I have no idea <laughs> like I don't have some type of, of smart idea in my sleeve I don't so I, I just have the idea to have a really cute house cottage anything I don't know I really like it and I hope there's still time I don't know I, I haven't taken a look but I might do this but first I'm going to publish the the video for the winners of the shell challenge soon when I published the video for the share challenge back then, I said that I would probably need like two weeks and now it's already a little longer than two weeks because I don't know, so many of you submitted a build. It's crazy and it took a long time to really take a close look and also in between I'm working on other stuff and builds so I really had to just make sure to take a look at every single build so it took longer and I already said in the original shell video that it might be one to two weeks and now it's even a bit longer I'm sorry for that but there's just so much going on and then I don't know I'm going to publish the video soon, so stay tuned. Of course, I haven't forgotten about this and it's going to be released soon and I just can't wait for your reactions. And I don't know, even those of you like who haven't entered, like, let me tell you, you will see that there's like so much talent, all these amazing builds. It will be so much fun and yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure you guys will love it. And of course, all of you who have submitted a build are already excited. I know this and I'm hurrying up. Let me tell you, <laughs> I'm working hard on this for you guys. So don't worry about this. It's coming and I'm sorry. So here this is the living room and I have a formal living room including a fireplace and then I have a kind of a TV room, a family room. I kind of had to think of the Simpsons when I was working on this because they have two living rooms right next to each other. One has a TV and the other one has a fireplace and also a piano. Here I didn't have enough space for a piano in this area. I'm going to place it in the hallway in front of the garage entrance which is a weird place but I just want to change a piano because it looks cool and also if you want to level up the piano skill of your sims I just wanted to include one because I mean at this point it's kind of I mentioned you can see it in the background here this is the garage and I'm really excited about this garage because I 
don't think I've ever worked on something like this before. I added these weird metal frames in front of the windows. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I just did that. <laughs> I just figured it would look more like a garage and then I used some blinds in front of the windows. I removed them now, but I'm going to add them back. Different ones though, but they look really similar. I have some pipes, some really industrial looking objects, which could be part of a heating system. I have no idea. Then I added the flower binding table because this area of the garage, there are windows going all around it and it just looks so beautiful. It's really sun flooded. So I figured it could be the perfect place to have some plants and the flower binding table. So I added it to this corner so this garage is kind of all over the place just like you would expect a proper garage to be a garage that is used this way so as i said there are no cars so this is really just a this type of garage where you just have some gym equipment i still added a debug car because i figured otherwise it wouldn't look like a garage at all but you could just get rid of it if you remove the car you have even more space if you want to add some stuff and i also i don't know if you saw it because it was too quick but i also added a door that is leading out of the garage right to, to the front so your sims can leave the garage and just leave the house because it's more realistic and i don't know maybe if we have some cars one day i would be happy as i said earlier i know a lot of people don't like the idea they say it's silly where do you want to drive to the loading screen but in sims 2 it was really similar we had loading screens in sims 2 and we had cars and it wasn't really a problem and i think i don't know if they would do this but there could be so much more to it, like we could have driving lessons for teenagers, stuff like this for example, I don't know, car mechanics, different things, just different cars and I don't know, there could be so much more to it, I think it could be done in a way that is interesting even though we have loading screens and I don't know, I think it doesn't matter, your sim just enters the cars driving off and then there is a loading screen, I mean why not? We could have some functional garages and driveways. It would make building and houses a bit more realistic and interesting. We could have different car models, some more, I don't know, like a car that you would expect for a family, but also maybe some, some really expensive car if you build a bachelor pad, like different things. It could add a lot to a build. We have some debug cars, but I mean, not, not even, everyone knows about the debug menu not everyone knows about all the cheats or is bothering with any cheats and i don't know a lot of people don't even know that these cars kind of exist so i think it would be great i don't know this is kind of just my my point of view i totally get that some people don't like that but i think it would be cute to be honest i don't know i just thought about this recently because some people expect a car update to come or suspected it before journey to but two for some reason especially because there were some spaceships and some people thought that these were functional they are not i think i don't know i, d I didn't even took a look at the new world yet to be honest i just built with the new objects but i think i should take a look i'm not interested in playing the storyline i also didn't do that for strangerville even though i think strangerville and the storyline is iconic this is like a sims classic but at the same time i just i don't know I'm just building so I didn't even take a look at Batu to be honest but there are spaceships apparently some animated ones I don't know if they're just for, for decoration but some simmers thought that there could be some cars there aren't yet but who knows maybe one day this is kind of why this crossed my mind and this is one of two kids rooms we have four bedrooms in total two of them are kids rooms as you just saw so it's a proper beautiful family home and this is it guys here you can see some screenshots as always this is available in the gallery fully furnished no cc unmodded so you can just grab it and let your sims move in also i'm just going to say it again if you want to join the kate emerald community discord where we can just have a chat you can share your sims your builds and stuff then you can feel free to join i'm going to link the discord in the description box so you can just join and i'm just happy we are already over 550 members now which is just crazy and it's a lot of fun so feel free to join if you want to and thank you so much for watching i hope you have a perfect day and i hope i see you in the next video bye bye